Express Edition. I love Express Edition, especially from 21, from 18C onwards and 21C. Effectively, it's almost everything that's in Enterprise Edition, plus all the extra license paid options, all for free. Love the fact that people get to now explore just about everything you could do with the Oracle database, and they're not going to cost them a cent, and they don't have to worry about overstepping some license particular restrictions. So here's the question. We're trying to upgrade our version of Apex on Express Edition, because that when you install Express Edition, out of the fault went out of the box when we configure, I think we throw Apex in there. The database says we've hit our 12 gigabyte limit on the size of the database. We don't give away the database for free, except with some restrictions. I'm pretty sure we're well under it. How can we get our upgrade done? It's the way we calculate the 12 gig limit that you probably need to be aware of, because this it's not really necessarily related to Apex. It's related to how we measure the space in XE. And it could catch out a whole lot of people if they're using XC. So I wanted to talk about it tonight. Now I'm going to try something here. Let's see what happens. So hopefully you can see my hands. So let's talk Express Edition. As we know, Express Edition, I think it's, I can't remember, I think it's maybe 2 gig of RAM, 12 gig of storage, one CPU. The 12 gig is the thing. Yeah, I've got some videos on my YouTube channel also, which talk about it's amazing how much work you, you can actually get done even just with one CPU on XE because the database runs so fast. You can do a lot of stuff. So generally the limiting clause is your 12 gig. Now, anyone who's a DBA on the call who's done a query to DBA extents or DBA segments knows that those queries take a fair while to run. And the reason they do is we don't store the extents in the data dictionary as such. We used to do that. There used to be a couple of internal tables called UET dollar, FET dollar, but they would become points of contention. So now the information about how data files are being utilized is stored in the data files themselves in bitmaps, which means as you do the queries like DBA extents, DBA segments, we are querying generally the data files themselves and scanning along these bitmaps. So it can be expensive, takes a while, but let's face it, you don't really need to do it that often. What that does mean is for something like Express Edition, where we have caps on the number of space you can use, it would be impractical for us every time you needed to allocate an extent, like an index grows, a table grows, to say, okay, yep, okay, let's do a check and see if they've exceeded the limit. That would hurt you because every time your tables grew, you'd see this pause in operation. So we don't do that. What we do is we keep an eye on the data file sizes. So what do you get in your typical express? You've got system, sysorx, users, and undo typically, right? We don't generally look at that or that um, in terms of space. Now, you might be thinking, oh, that's okay. What I'll do is I'll stick all my stuff in the system table space and I'll be able to bypass the limit. Well, the way we avoid that is we know that by default, normally the total sum of the data files so maybe that's say four gig and that's say six gig. The total sum of the data files can't exceed 12 gigabytes. Now you might be thinking, oh, I'm gonna jam it all in system then, for example, to try circumvent the system. One thing we also do is we say, okay, no data file is allowed to get to 12 gigabytes. If it gets to 12 gigabytes, your database is full. Now, what does that create for us? I'm gonna rip this off and into the page because I've been too exuberant. So what's in sysorx typically? Well, when you install Apex, it'll be in there. Plus things like um, or your audit information uh, or your internal repository stuff like your optimizer stats or your job schedule logs, etc. All that stuff is stored in sysorx and here is generally your user data. When you come to upgrade Apex, well, if this has gone out to 12 gigabytes, and that's say Apex 21, and now you want to put in Apex 22, you've got a problem because temporarily you want to go out past this 12 gigabyte limit, and that's not going to be allowed. You're going to have a problem there. The only way you could do it would be to drop Apex, export all your applications, and then export all your applications, all your data, drop Apex 21, install Apex 22, and then re-import it all back in again. That's not going to be fun. So you don't want to get into a scenario where two versions of Apex is going to push you over the 12 gig limit. Now, as you're seeing, as you're building, running your system, you might be thinking, oh, yeah, well, I'm getting pretty close. That's okay. I'll do that time-honored thing of what I'll do is I'll start dropping information that I don't need in my table space. And then I'll do alter table move to bring things back 
down below the high water mark because your typical sysorx table space might be out around 12 gigabytes but we've got information in here information in here information in here but we've got lots of free space so if i got something up around here what i'll do is i'll do an alter table move and what the database does is when you do move it finds the lowest point and sticks it in there and then you can reshuffle that data file mark down that all sounds very straightforward easy to do but what's in sysorgs well you've got things like optimizer history tables what have we got in there long columns you can't move a table if it's got a long column so if it's out here you're in trouble you've got order information you can't move the order information with alter table move. It's barred, it's prohibited. In fact, the only thing you can do with order information is to set a new table space. And there's a DBMS audit management or DBMS audit and admin package that lets you choose a new table space for it. And the database will over time move new data into the new one and old stuff will go out. The job scheduler grows ad infinitum pretty much because we can, I think we keep 60 days by default. But the key things are probably these two. Because of long columns and because of audit information, you can get to a point where all you need is a single audit table out around this 12 gigabyte mark, and you can't move it. And if you can't move it, you can't shrink the data file. And if you can't shrink the data file, you're dead in the water. So what does that mean? Some recommendations. If you're deploying XE and deploying Apex or anything on XE, and, and I'm hoping to build a script or utility, which will I'll either put in my blog post or I'll actually hopefully fold into the product if someone will let me, where you want as little as possible going into sysorgs if you're worried about your, that you're one day going to exceed those 12 gigabyte limits. So on day one, when you install XE, you would use DBMS audit admin to make sure the audit goes into its own table space, audit TS. You would set all the optimizer retentions at the moment they default, I think, to 30 days. Drop them down to seven. Make sure those tables cycle through very, very quickly. Your job scheduler, DBMS, uh, DBA scheduler job log, DBA scheduler job details, et cetera, all that stuff gets stored, I think, for 60 days in sysorgs, right? Set that, you know, maybe set that down to seven days. Maybe set that down to seven days. All these things that have to say in sysorgs, make them low retention. So they're cycled through fast. They won't burn up much sysorgs. Anything you can move out of sysorgs, like the audit, put it in its own table space. If you're installing Apex, install it in its own table space. Don't let anything go into sysorgs that it doesn't need to be, because otherwise, if sysorgs gets out to 12 gig, that's the end of it pretty much for you. You're going to be in strife. You, you'll be able to grow your existing applications into free space wherever it is, but it's very easy to start getting these erroneous warnings because one of your data files is at 12 gig, and pretty much we're gonna shut the door on you. So I hope that, that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna try and put all that into a blog post with a list of commands that you should run when you first install XE to give you a setup where you can get maximum benefit and maximum uh, duration out of your XE uh, platform. And especially if you're worried about going near 12 gigs. So hopefully that helps.